So it is Tuesday, I think. No, Wednesday. And sleeping in the car wasn't bad at all. Uh, it was raining, so you can hear the rain, but that's it. Besides that, it's like around 8 a.m. 8 a.m. right now, and I'm gonna try and go see the pyramids that they have here. So I am going the right way because they charged me to get in. It's uh, 27 pesos to get into the national park. Like this, this way takes you to the pyramids, and then on the way here it was like five kilometers. There's a bunch of hotels if that's your thing. Uh, so this is gonna be really touristy. Like I've been saying over and over again, Mexico is very touristy and they put a lot of money into it. So it's actually pretty nice and safe. Like all the beaches that I've been to, all the archeological sites, they're like well taken care of. Like they put a lot of money into it. Puede ser que al momento de morder deja caer un líquido tóxico, uh -huh. como las serpientes. No todas las serpientes son venenosas, pero también hay serpientes venenosas. Una de esas serpientes, pues eso se llama templo de la calavera, cráneo que está construido en estuco. El estuco maya. So that's the sarcophagus uh, over here. Exactly the there was a queen here, buried here. Going up, and over there is a long chamber. And, and here, look. What's open? And I think. Trabajo de. De restauración es el. La arqueología de 1931. Al fondo, bajo de esa montaña, que no se ve bien por las nieblas, ahí hay una ruina. No hay tapado. Al momento no hay ningún plan. ¿Cuándo lo van a desmontar? Para gentes privilegiadas. Entonces nos encontramos en la planta baja del palacio, donde en la época de la civilización maya tenían bares. De noche en Maya me iluminaban con antorchas, porque la antorcha cocina en su madera, se quema. La otra cama. Se quema y se llena de humo. Entonces se intoxicaba, no me se iluminaban con velas. Todo lo que es el estuco. Y todo lo que es decoración se llaman relieves. Entonces aquí hablamos del clásico. Todo lo que es el preclásico temprano, preclásico temprano, todos estos monumentos no existían. Okay. El preclásico temprano, vamos en acueducto subterráneo. En el Maya canalizaban el agua uh -huh. y luego la embovedaban, la techaban. Pero la bandera interna a la selva sin tener dirección. Es un tour sin tender. Uh -huh. Un par de horas a la selva. Uh -huh. Pero siguen habiendo edificios allá adentro. Sí, siguen habiendo edificios. Esto ya están sepultados. Hay un lado de 1500 ruinas. 1500 edificios uh -huh. bajo de la selva. Eso es lo que nos refleja Palenque. Si Palenque ahorita es bonito con, el, con la lluvia, uh -huh. imagínense cuando hay sol. Está súper hermoso. So that, my friends, was Palenque, and according to my guide, this is like the second most important Mayan ruins in Central America. The other one is in uh, Guatemala, which I will probably see when I when, when I go there. 
but now we're gonna go to two uh, falls. Uh, I don't know the name of them. And then I'll go to San Cristobal, which is a small Spanish town. And we'll see how that goes. So you guys might not be able to hear anything, but we're going to the falls. Hopefully this water is clean. So those were the pyramids, I mean the pyramids, those were the falls of Misolha, which is between Palenque and Ocosingo. Uh, there's going to be another waterfalls that we're going to, they're called Blue Water Waterfalls. And then we'll go to uh, Ocosingo. And so this is what sucks, like you'll be driving and then the road will be gone. <laughs> and this is lucky because then this part was really small and you can just go around it. But sometimes you'll be driving and there's like no road and you have to really go off road. And in this car it's kind of like shady. But you know what? If this, I've seen some shady cars doing it. So if, this, if they can do it, I can do it. Because I mean, I've seen some crappy ass cars go off road here. So this is Agua Azul, Blue Water Falls.
¿Lo traes en la mano primero o no? Es calcado. Ah, ok. I just wanted to show you guys that uh, we went from the jungle to this like forest. I didn't know that was gonna happen. So we have like, well now it's changing, but uh, what the hell? Now it's like <laughs> it's changing back to the jungle, I think. But yeah, I just passed some somewhere where it was like pine trees and stuff, so it was more forest. Now it's I think it's going back to jungle. And also, if you guys listen to this station. They're like talking in a mix of Spanish with like some dialect. I'm not gonna say Mayan because I don't know, but it's like half and half. Check it out, guys. This is what I was talking about. It's like forest. The trees are like, I don't know if they're pine trees, but they're like different trees. And it's definitely not jungle anymore. So I guess we're like really high up right now. Can't say enough how weird this is because, uh, or how surprised I am because we went from like a really crappy road to like a full on highway. And then we went from like extreme poor people to like, not poor people. Well, I don't know how to say it, but it's just like such a change. It was so quick. And then we went from jungle to like forest. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty sick, actually. It's a huge difference because this reminds me of Colorado because the trees and stuff. So this is a small little town. I mean, their downtown looks like a small little town. Looks very pretty actually, very colonial. Everything's old and new. Kind of reminds me of Querétaro. I think I just made an illegal turn there. But whatever. So yeah, this is like their plaza, they have something going on. We might check it out later. So I'm like on a walk around, walkabout in the middle of a downtown area and it's so cool to see people talking in a different language and it's not like some foreign language, it's like a Mayan language. So you see young people and families speaking this other language which is not American, it's not a English or French or whatever, it's, it's Mayan, which is really, really, really cool. <laughs> what I saw when I came in. Like I said before, I'm very impressed from this city. I just love how... I don't know, this is not gonna sound weird, but like... You know, in Mexico they all speak Spanish, but here they speak their native language. A lot of people, not all of them. But uh, you know, that's like something you don't see all the time. Especially when you see all the other Europeans here. It's like, I don't know, it's pretty badass that they speak whatever language they're speaking. <laughs> So this is another walkabout. 
It was a little more chill. The other one was like they used to sell more stuff. It's more like bars and restaurants. So I'm just bar hopping a little bit. So I met some Spaniards here and we're gonna go to uh, Revolución. Ah, uh, well. They're from Madrid. <laughs> this guy, all of them are. And we'll be there in a second. We stopped by to La Viña de Baco. Uh -huh. just, to, just to say hi to some people. <laughs> So the last club I was in, it was pretty cool, it's called Revolución. They were playing some reggae, then they switched it up to cumbia. And I don't know how to dance cumbia. So I was kind of not feeling it. But now we're going home. Now I'm guessing that this town is pretty safe. So I'm just gonna walk all the way home.